Welcome to the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. I'm here with Commercial Officer Thomas Bruns from the U.S. Embassy in Ankara, Turkey, and he's uh, generously offered to spend some time with us today talking about U.S. business opportunities in Turkey. Well, welcome, Tom. Thanks, Andrew. I'm happy to be here. What are some of the top imports and exports into and out of Turkey? Uh, I'd say uh, the, the top exports currently are, are more uh, in the aerospace uh, area, uh, a lot of defense products, obviously. Um, you have machinery, um, but the up the also information communication technology, uh, health care technologies uh, are also big. If if I could outline for us uh, the best prospect sectors, we have at the commercial service every year what we call a country commercial guide that we put out where we identify the uh, best prospect sectors. The top one would be renewable energy, energy efficiency. There is strong political will in Turkey today to uh, reduce their dependency on, on energy, which they have a, a high dependency currently. And their objective in the next uh, 10 to 15 years is to have at least 30 percent of their energy come from renewable energy sources. Um, they also want to invest in energy, energy, renewable energies. I think about $20 billion in the next five years, up to $100 billion in the next 15 years. They have great potential in wind, up to 10,000 megawatts they want to get from wind energy in the next 10 years. And if you look at uh, solar and geothermal, uh, after, uh, in, in Europe, they are second in terms of potential for geothermal and solar energy. So renewable energy and energy efficiency are de is definitely a, a sector uh, where we're trying to get U.S. companies to take advantage of those opportunities. Other sectors, uh, I would say transportation infrastructure, big opportunities. Uh, about 100 projects worth $250 billion over the next 10 years, 10 to 15 years, in rail, bridges, tunnels, highway projects, metro projects, light rail. So large engineering procurement construction firms uh, in the U.S., there are definitely opportunities in Turkey upcoming. What's a good advantage in that sector as well is you have a very strong Turkish contractors association in Turkey. Contractors that are able to go into other markets in the region and have very good contacts. So if large American firms are able to come to Turkey and do projects, make partnerships, they can then work in third countries from Turkey. How would you describe Turkey as a business market? Well, first of all, I think that uh, if you're coming from the U.S. perspective, uh, it's important to understand that if you're doing business with Turkish companies, it's very much like doing business with European companies. And I don't think that that perception is widespread in the U.S. Um, so if you're a U.S. company and you have experience working in the, in the European market, you'll probably feel very comfortable and speak the same language as, as, as most Turkish companies that you'll have to deal with. Um, on the other hand, if, if you are working on government tenders, they tend to be uh, bureaucratic. So you'll need uh, local knowledge, you'll need local support, and having a, a good partner on the ground will be extremely important. So I, I think those would be the main things. And then finally I would say that, as I mentioned earlier, there is such growth. I mean, if you look at the first four months of 2011, Turkey, U.S. trade has grown by 60 percent. So. If you're interested, if there are products that can work in, Tur in, in Turkey, you need to get in now. Would a U.S. company need a Turkish partner to bid on a public procurement such as rail? They would, they absolutely. Would. Yeah. yeah, no, they would, have to, they, have, they would have to work with partners. But you have very good partners who've had uh, European partners in the past. And there were large EPC, uh, you know, engineer procurement construction firms in the past, but they have left Turkey and we're really trying to get them back in now. Um, I was curious about the trade show industry. Is there a large trade show, trade expo um, sector in Turkey? There are. There are a lot of trade shows. There aren't a lot of international uh, trade shows necessarily, more regional based. Okay. Uh, 
a very big trade show that we promote every two years is, is the International Defense uh, uh, Trade Show uh, called IDEF, which just happened in, in the month of May. Uh, there's also uh, a, a trade show in the automotive sector called Automechanica in Istanbul, uh, where we had a few companies that, uh, that, that uh, participated uh, this past year. But I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, there are the more local shows. Than more, lo more regional, regional. Uh, based shows. Um, a lot of the Turkish companies go to European shows. Uh, Germany is very well known, as you know, for their, for, their, for their trade shows. So if a U.S. company that, that's familiar with Europe, that hasn't done business in Turkey, wanted to get started, what would you suggest? Uh, I think that the, the first step, if an if a American company is interested in Turkey, is to go reach out to their uh, U.S. Export Assistance Center nearest you know to their office and talk to them about their interest they can then get in touch with us and we can uh, organize a, a brief call to discuss their needs talk about their product uh, figure out if there's a market uh, if we think that they can be competitive uh, and then we can work with them to uh, establish uh, a plan we have a range of uh, and menu of services that we can offer and we can then tailor it depending on their needs um, if it is, if, if companies are interested in, in the short to medium term uh, in Turkey, I would strongly recommend uh, participating in a webinar that we're going to be organizing on July 14th, where we'll be talking about opportunities in Turkey, and then specifically about opportunities in the renewable energy sector and the energy efficiency sector. Uh, it's to be confirmed, but there's a strong possibility that, that the ambassador, uh, Francis Ricciardoni, will be uh, making opening remarks to the webinar, and then we'll have our team that will talk about the market and answer questions. What are some of the activities that the U.S. government is engaged in? Y you mentioned the webinar, uh, but to take advantage of some of the opportunities that you're describing, uh, whether it's health care, information, communication, technology, energy, joint ventures, direct export. Um, are, are there things that other agencies are doing? Are there things that trade councils are doing? Um, let me just take a, a sort of larger uh, uh, take on, on your question. <clears throat> Something I didn't mention earlier but alluded to is that uh, after uh, President Obama's visit in, in um, April of 2009, there was a, a, a strong uh, emphasis on really trying to increase trade and investment between the two countries. And we established what's called a, a framework for strategic economic and commercial cooperation. This is a cabinet level uh, framework that's supposed to meet uh, every year. Our Secretary of Commerce uh, Locke, U.S. Trade Representative Kirk uh, is on this uh, cabinet level uh, framework as, long, as well as their Turkish counterparts. And part of that is a business council with uh, 20 members, Turk, Turkish and, and American who are supposed to meet and then inform uh, this uh, framework on different things that we can do to improve uh, trade. So the reason I mention that is uh, it's not, we are working at a working level, on a G to G level, we're working constantly to see how we can improve our trade relationship. But we now have a framework where we can have it at a cabinet level uh, to begin to discuss uh, how we can improve things. And I think that's going to lead uh, to new opportunities in different sectors. And it's obvious that we need to do it by sector and focus on the sectors. I think that uh, helping specific industries uh, talk to each other is the best way to um, get trade uh, uh, to grow. Um, now, apart from that, uh, there are a lot of U.S. agencies, as you know, that are working in Turkey. We work very closely with the U.S. Exim Bank. Uh, last year, we had the uh, chairman of, of the Exim Bank, uh, Mr. Hochberg, that, that came to Turkey. Uh, he signed a, a memorandum of understanding with the Ministry of Energy, Minister of Energy on uh, helping uh, fund uh, renewable projects for up to one uh, billion dollars. So we're hoping that that sort of activity is also going to help because we need financing to be able to, to move this forward. Uh, USTDA has been very active uh, uh, in Turkey. Uh, on renewable energy projects as well, um, whether it be solar, uh, coal gasification, 
uh, projects. These are mostly feasibility studies that US, uh, USTDA does that then uh, gives, uh, identifies opportunities uh, that can lead to uh, U.S. exports. Um, I'll just mention that both Exim and USTDA have, uh, and the Commercial Service, in fact, have Turkey on their list of what they call next tier or future markets. So uh, I think there is a broad consensus uh, within the U.S. government uh, community that, that Turkey is, is a market that we need to focus on. I'm just wondering what the conditions were um, or what the unique conditions were in Turkey that, that caused the president and the cabinet to focus on setting up this working group? Was it, um, was it the commercial viability of the market, uh, the, uh, the idea that, that they're a crucial strategic partner? And then what some of the intended outcomes of the working group would be? Uh, I think that this, uh, th there are several you know, ongoing uh, government-to-government -government, uh, working groups, if we can call them that way, uh, led by U.S. Uh, uh, TR, U.S. Trade Representative, uh, the State Department also through the Economic Partnership Council. The idea here was really to uh, move it up a level and have sort of an overarching uh, framework where we could have a cabinet-level intervention. And I think what brought it about was a recognition on the behalf of, of President Obama and President Gül that even though we have had four years through NATO, uh, uh, a very strong uh, military and strategic relationship, that if we wanted to take it to the next level, uh, because of Turkey's regional importance, I mean, um, it was important to also increase our trade relations. Now, at the same time, in 2010, we had $15 billion worth of trade. If you look at a lot of other countries, uh, that's a, a pretty good number, um, but we think that we can take it, you know, much further. And I think that's uh, mainly what President Obama and President Gould identified, is that there was a real opportunity there uh, to do much more. Um, what's the best way for a U.S. company or business person to contact you or someone from your office um, if they're looking to take the next step and develop a, a trading relationship with a company in Turkey? As I said, I think that the, the, the U.S. Export Assistance Center is your first step uh, in the process. And then they can put uh, uh, the U.S. company in touch with us. You can also uh, uh, get in touch with us directly as well. I mean, that's uh, perfectly fine. Uh, we can have a discussion about uh, your product or service and, and how we can help you uh, enter the market. Um, there are several different ways of doing that. We also... Uh, organize uh, delegations to the U.S. I think we are organizing seven uh, this year. We'll be taking delegations of Turkish companies in different sectors to trade events in both Europe and the U.S. So if a U.S. company is interested in the Turkish market, is participating in a trade show in the U.S., and we happen to be going there, it'll be very easy for us to then uh, put them in touch with the Turkish companies. So it's not only through a gold key or or eventually through a trade mission, but also maybe the other way, uh, bringing Turkish companies uh, also to the U.S. Commercial Officer Thomas Brun, thank you for taking some time to speak with me today at the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks again. Thanks. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.